Whoa! Super Mario Odyssey! Oh yes, that's the game we'll be playing today, and I decided to save Mario Kart for later. We will break this game into several parts, and if you like it and get lots of likes, we will release the remaining parts of the playthrough. Wow, let's watch this game trailer, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You're doing great with almost 400 people already. Come on, guys, let's keep going. Close your mouths and see what Bowser is up to. I cannot mention the beautiful 3D graphics, guys. I have heard that we can play together here, so why is only Don playing? I wonder how little Mario will fight such a huge Bowser. It's too strange. Mario looks so helpless there. I don't think he will be able to do anything to that healthy person. It is said for a reason that the smaller the stool, the farther it flies. I understand that in this game we will need to save the princess. What else could be in this game according to you naked girls in lace lingerie? I wouldn't mind having it. I never doubted your abilities, man, but focus on the game and not on naked girls, okay? I don't understand why you didn't like naked girls. I wasn't playing Mario at your age. I was flirting with girls at every turn, hanging out with the guys and partying. Ha ha ha, you made me laugh. At most, with whom can you flirt and throw tomatoes or order girls? When I was a child, my dog's name was Obik Mobik, and at one point she got lost. This happened accidentally. It wasn't like you transformed into a person. Did nothing smarter come to your mind other than jokes that you tell to everyone you meet? I understand that only a crowd can extinguish a lion. One by one, you are not even worth a loaf of bread at the store. Don scared his dog with his naked butt. Let's start playing the art masterpiece already. Here I am born into the world. Hey, Obama, have you seen what Trump's doing over here? Oh boy, not again. What is he up to now? Guys, check. I will find the secret level and get a lot of coins. Yeah, right. I bet that fake news. Tell me about it, Trump. We know you didn't really earn those coins. Did you cheat your way through the game again? No way. This time I'm playing fair and square. Hmm. I don't believe it, Obama. Do you think we can trust him? Well, as much as I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, Joe, I have my doubts too. But hey, Trump, if you're so good at Super Mario Odyssey, how come you're not helping us defeat Bowser? Maybe because there's no healthcare power-up in this game, hmm. Wow, talk about deflecting. If only deleting internet history were as easy as jumping on Goombas. You said it, Joe. All right, we better get back to work, unlike some people who play video games all day long. He promised to steal for his sister throughout. But King Boo will help us free both of them. I hope he will be helpful and not get in the way. So we've got a lot to talk about today, and I realize that our agenda is already quite full. But there's one topic on my mind that I think we should address. What's that? Well, I'm concerned about the way that society views women and their bodies, particularly how they're judged for being too skinny or too curvy. Sorry, Barack, but this sounds like another attempt to shame people into political correctness. It's not about shaming anyone, Donald. Yeah, he just wants us to have a conversation. Fine, let's have a conversation. In my opinion, thin girls are just more attractive. They look healthier and happier. But that's just because of negative media portrayals of plus-size women, aren't they? Many fuller-figured ladies out there are fit and in shape. For some reason, it's seen as okay to do thin shaming, even though we've all winced around talking disrespectfully about bodies. Huh. So what are you suggesting that we pretend obesity isn't harmful and risky? Not at all, however. Neither obesity nor anorexia is simply about making choices right. Mental health and sustainability are both very critical factors. You know, Barack makes a really good point. Thin girls can have eating disorders, too. And you never know someone's story without asking. Okay, okay, let me think about this. I suppose I could see both sides. Great, and who says curvier women aren't happy and healthy, huh? Exactly. Anyway, boy, I tell you, it's a tough world nowadays when our wives post numerous pictures during quarantine lockdown. Damn, I really like this game. It's very engaging. We should play it together. I wouldn't mind making a continuation of this game and completing it entirely. Guys, have any of you played Super Mario Odyssey yet? Sure, have I picked it up last week and haven't put it down since? Can't say I have. Isn't that one of those boring old games that only losers play? Not at all. Trump Super Mario Odyssey is actually a really fun game. 
It's all about exploring these beautiful 3D worlds and collecting power moons to power up your spaceship. Plus the visuals are simply stunning. All those bright colors and adorable animations make it so easy to get lost in this game for hours. Well, if it's so addicting, how come I've never heard of it before? Is it some indie game or something? No, it's actually exclusive to Nintendo Switch, which is why you probably haven't seen much about it. But honestly, everyone should give it a try. The controls are simple enough for beginners, but still offer plenty of challenge for seasoned gamers like myself. So what's the premise? Do you just go around hopping on turtles or whatever? Well, as you can see, there is no such thing as Mario in 2D games here. Actually, there's way more to it than that. You get to jump into all sorts of different creatures throughout your journey, from Goombas to Chain Chomps to even T-Rexes. And let's not forget the wonderful collaboration aspect between Mario and his new partner, Cappy. It adds a whole new layer of strategy on top of an already awesome game. Yeah, man, I can't tell you how many late nights I've had playing this with my grandkids. They freaking love it. Guys, what would you like to eat today? How about burgers from McDonald's? Sure, but only the best burgers. All right, then let's finish the game first, and then we can go. Guys, have y'all seen any good movies lately? Oh yeah, I just saw that new action thriller, The Hitman. Um, trust me folks, there's nothing like my favorite war movie, Saving Private Ryan. Joe, why'd you choose The Hitman though? Any reason in particular? Well, Barack, to be honest, it had great reviews and also starred Jason Statham. Haha, <laughs> trust me folks, when we talk about American cinema, who can forget Titanic? We as Americans love a classic blockbuster that said Trump, how did you watch Titanic the first time around? On your own Netflix account or through partner Vladimir Putin's Hulu subscription? All right, all right, folks, let's settle down. How about if we talked about our favorites of this year so far? So Obama, Ma, what's up on your list? Honestly, it's hard for me to pick only one, but Little Women is definitely one of my top picks. I loved Ronan's Joe thoroughly. Seems inclusive POTUS only stereotypes genres. Ha ha, very funny Trumpy boy. So tell us then, bud, have you featured in a political biopic after all the cool things in Brunei? Irma, okay, no, but still me enjoying Chinese arts, yes. IP man, to be precise, this Wired Warrior films always roars throat box. Okay, that must indeed been an epic enthusing. Donald, has anybody noticed whole lot superhero flicks around since decades now? Hoo, ooh, wee, those Marvel blockbusters are tall business along with youth churning out tricks driving Money Grove. Guys, did you hear about the guy who stole a calendar? He got 12 months. Oh man, that was a good one, Barack. Whatever, Joe. You know, I could say something funnier. Doubtful, Donald, but go ahead and try. Well, have you heard the one about the magician who got so mad he turned into a motel? What, that doesn't make any sense. Nice try, Trump. Maybe stick to politics instead of stand-up comedy. Wait, wait, I have one. Why do melons have weddings? Because they cantaloupe. Okay, okay, you got me there. Melania will love that one. All right, I gotta admit, we're not great at telling jokes. How about we just hang out and argue about policy like usual? Yeah, that sounds more our speed. Guys, I'm a little tired after work and all I want is to take a shower and go to bed. Maybe it's time to wrap up, but our dear viewers can expect a new episode soon. Please leave your precious comments in English. Guys, please subscribe to our channel. Unfortunately, we can't upload videos every day, but we try not to miss any circumstances dictate. But just subscribe and like us, it motivates us strongly, doesn't let us give up and make decent content. Let's reach 1,000 subscribers. I believe in you guys. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our top channel. We strive to create great content for you and always believe in your dreams while remaining kind people. Gentlemen and ladies, thank you for watching this wonderful video. Good luck everyone, and see you soon on our channel. Stay tuned for new releases.